Hey, we're back for more Nancy Drew. I'm your gifts, of course. This is the secret of the old clock. Now, what do we have? We have got ourselves this... Oh, it's actually telling us where we need to go. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so we're here, and this is, uh, the bank guy, right? The... Apparently he's a lawyer, too. Don't you ever use this typewriter? That used to be Josiah Crowley's. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The keys always jam. Really not. October 9, 1929. Dear Mrs. Sheldon, here is the... Trivet I said you could borrow for your party at Twin Elms. Please take care of it because I will want it back someday. Your friend, Josiah C. I wonder if Josiah ever got his trivet back. I wonder. Okay, is that all we needed to do here? Cool music in the background. Who's Clara? Clara Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. Took a shine to me for some reason. Insisted on giving me that picture. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, what's this Where thing? did you get this clock? Josiah Crowley gave it to me. It stopped keeping time the minute he walked out the door. It would sure be nice to be able to open this thing. Yeah, where's our key? Apparently that's not the right key. Come back for you, clock. What's over here? Safe deposit boxes. Is this your car? Yes, it is. Bought and paid for. Looks beautiful. Oh, and the car too. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? Alright, we'll see what he's got anything to say. Hello again. The key that you had Mr. Waddell appraise. Could that be the key to the clock that Josiah Crowley gave you? It might have been, I suppose. You know about that? I found the receipt on the path to Richard Topham's house. Really? I thought I'd thrown it out. You see, when he told me the key was worthless, I lost all interest in it. So, it would be alright if I kept the key for myself? I have no use for it. In fact, if you want that old clock, you can have it too. Oh, oh good, good. I want the old clock. Was that your car I saw parked near the Lilac Inn this morning? I haven't been there in months. You saw someone else's car. It's a very popular make and color, you know. Hmm. Whose ever car it was, it wasn't there after the fire. Probably just someone sneaking onto that miniature golf course that Josiah built back there. Or bootleggers. I hear they frequent that area too. <laughs> bootleggers, okay. I guess I'll be going. Nice talking to you. I guess maybe it's prohibition time? Oh, I just realized if I hover over I can see how much money I've got. That's good to know. So wait, does Nancy now get the clock here? I need a special key. Isn't this special enough? It is special enough! Holy cow, what's going on here? Oh, it's a gear puzzle! Good grief! <laughs> I was not expecting this. They don't even snap in here. What is this? How do you... Ugh, I can't even tell. That's weird. I guess we just have to assume that we've centered it properly. I wasn't prepared for a gear puzzle here. In the game. What am I supposed to be doing with this thing? Ugh. Oh boy. No. <laughs> that doesn't look good at all over here. It's not even touching. Uh, what if I switch? How do I know if I've got this right? It'd be nice to know if it would like stick or something. Do 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 I'm gonna just sing here. Ah. Uh, 
Nancy, am I doing this right, or what's the deal here? I don't think so. Oh, that- oh, when they go on right, they actually stick. I think. Maybe? That's weird. See, that one's stuck on there. Well, how am I supposed to... Ugh, I only got one. Oh boy, how am I supposed to do this? Seriously, that one's stuck on, but the rest of them have not? Am I failing that badly at this? Why, game? Why did you do it like this? This isn't making any sense. I don't see how this could be any other gear. No, seriously, how could this... Oh, okay, apparently that's the proper one. <laughs> okay. So I'm literally going to have to go through every one, one at a time? Yeah, see, I don't think that's going to work. Alright, let's try this and see if we can do this now. Put all the mediums here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to have to put a big one here, I think. Good, 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 good. No. Doesn't look like that one's going to work. Oh, I just noticed it. It's got a line here. Oh, okay. Now I get it. <laughs> now I totally get it. I know, I know. You guys are like, how could you miss that? I don't know. I missed it. But now I get it. Fix the old clock. Another mirror. Apparently mirrors are a thing. Now I have two of them. Okay. So we say, hey, uh, we kind of found something in there. Let's see if he has anything new to say for us. Hello again. I guess I'll be going. I guess going. I'll be going. Goodbye now. Bye. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Nancy wants to do driving. Where is this mini miniature putt thing? I want to do that. Come on, Nancy. I've only got half a tank of gas left. Well, you know I what? should let's gas just, up before I forget. Let's go to the observatory since we are here. Around and around we go. Hello. I'm supposed to deliver this telegram to Dr. Bob. That would be me. Thank you. Wow, that's a big telescope. Come back after dark and I'll let you take a look. You can consider it your tip. I may just do that. Bye-bye. Okay, that's better than no tip. Right? Getting a chance to look in the telescope? That's pretty cool. Around and around we go. Come on, Nancy. You got this. Do, 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 do. Zippy gas. Welcome to Zippy's, where Zipless service is Zipply Zapped and Zippy service okay, is enough. the zippiest. Fill her want... up. Just 50 cents worth, please. Zippy gas. That'll yeah. be 50 cents. Here you go. So I'm Drive starting... Zippily. Starting to realize how easy it would be to run out of money in this game. What's in here, actually? So this is the Titusville Courthouse. I want to get paid here. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Sure Good did. for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Miss Temple at Lowood Academy. Okay, Keep up the good work. Lowood's right over here. All right, let's just take care of that then. We are right here. Hello, I've got a telegram for Miss Temple. I am she. We teachers don't get paid much, you know. Oh, I wow. understand. Uh, did this by any chance used to be the Brewster Academy? Why, yes it did. Thought so. Bye! Okay. Not sure how that helps me. Brewster Academy. Did you deliver that telegram? I, I sure, sure did. did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one goes to Dr. Ackerman out at the Deer Mountain Resort. Keep up the good work. You're welcome. Alright, well, at least I paid for my gas, right? Two telegrams. Cents for the gas, we're good. I better not go in. I don't even know what a Grange is. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, oh, let's go this way. Oh, great. A flat tire. Are you serious? Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to change it myself. <laughs> oh, 
What? Flat tire? Oh boy. Oh no. Here we go, Nancy. Good job. We did it! There. I hope I don't get another flat. But I better go to the gas station and get my spare fixed, just in case. Well, so much for, uh, you know, making enough to cover Hello, gas. I'm delivering a telegram to Dr. Akerman. I shall deliver it to the good doctor forthwith. He rarely tips, and I never do. <laughs> That's skates. okay. Bye. No, Nancy, it's not okay. Bunch of cheapskates here. All right, let's find out what the damage is on this tire. Welcome to Zippy's, where zipless service is zippily zapped, and zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Could you please fix my spare tire? You betcha. Oh boy, how much did that cost? There you are. Good as new. Two dollars. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Oh, Anything else? no. No, thank you. Drive zippily. Two dollars. Holy cow. Nancy, we're broke. You're going to have to walk and deliver our future telegrams. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one's for old man Johnson out at his farm. Oh, Keep boy. up the good work. I'm kind of afraid now. I gotta avoid potholes, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm not going over that. $2 to fix a spare tire, that's crazy. Dude, really? That's what the... Oh, I thought it was blocked. Never mind. That was firm. Are you Mr. Johnson? Maybe. Who are you? Well, my name's Nancy Drew, and if you are Mr. Johnson, I've got a telegram for you. Yay. Well, thank you. Hey, you want a tip? Sure. Sure. Buy low, sell high. Thanks, I'll remember that. Wow, that's just cheeky. Alright. I think what I'll do is I'll do a bunch of these telegrams uh, off camera, because I need to make my two bucks back. How much do I have? 55 cents. Yeah, I'm in deep trouble if I get another flag. Although I am curious to see what happens if I did Did you do deliver that. that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Go to the railroad station and deliver this to Willie Joe. Keep up the good work. Willie Joe. Where is our railway station anyways? Is it up here somewhere? Uh... No, Nancy, don't get any more flats. Oh, great. A flat Are you serious? Time. Well, I guess I'm going to have to change it myself. What in the world? How is that? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in trouble now. Oh boy. Why would I get, I drove for like, how long in the last episode and now I can't even drive like, I'm... ugh. Crazy. Like I get it, the roads back then were I get another flat, but I better go to the gas station and get my spare fixed, just in case. I can't afford to get my spare fixed. Let's just see what happens for funsies. Welcome to Zippy's, where nope. zipless service is zippily zapped, and zippy service is the zippiest. Let's see what Fill happens. Up. Could you please fix my spare tire? You betcha. Let's see what happens. I want to see what happens. Are we going to be in the negative? There you are. Good as new. That'll be two dollars. But I don't have two dollars. You don't? No. Hmm. We got ourselves quite a conundrum here. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got a whole drawer full of bolts and washers and such in there. You put them all away in the right bins, and we'll call it even. You got a deal. Zippy said I can only get two wrong. Oh, <laughs> put to work or something. Holy cow. I can only get two wrong? Uh, let's start with the big ones, I guess. Sorting nuts and bolts for for flat tire repair. Well, at least I know what happens when you don't have money. Uh, oh boy, these small ones are going to be the, the death of me here. The big ones are not an issue, it's the small ones. Ugh, that's got to be there. Holy cow, this is going to be trouble. 
I've already got two incorrect? Oh no. Sorry, you didn't do it right. <laughs> You're gonna have to start over. Oh no, are you insane? Oh boy. Oh boy. Is it only two per? Is that kind of maybe the idea? It might be only two per. Let's see. Let's assume there's only two per. Uh, do the big one here. Oh, that actually took three though. Oh, I have no idea which one that one is. Oh, Nancy, we've got ourselves into a conundrum here. We have a conundrum indeed. Okay, that's a little one. We'll do the washes first, I guess. Okay, so far so good on that. That's a big one. Yep. That's gotta be a medium one. One? Yep. I want that big one there. Oh boy, I don't know which is this one. Oh, phew. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Come on, Nancy. Nuts and bolts sorting for a flat tire. Ah. Uh, these have got to be small ones, right? Okay. That's a small one, that's a small one. I think we're uh, on the right path here. So these might be small ones, right? Yep. I think You did it! You're free to go! Oh, Just good. remember, drive zippily! <sighs> I've got to figure out a way to make some money so I don't have to do that again. Yeah, no kidding. Like, how, how could I get two flat tires in one episode? That's just not right. Turn her home for the orphans? Why am I here? And <laughs> they're sure having a good time. Hi, kids! Hi. Oops. Guess they're not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, oopsie daisy. What's over here? The pond. Let's go fishing. A nice, quiet fishing hole. Neat. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's neat. The fish don't exactly seem to be jumping. Oh. Sorry. The fish don't exactly seem to be jumping. You can't be fishing then. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Print shop. Well, let's go here. Back. Oh, oh, wait. And we're back! Where's this golf course they were talking about? This way? Oh, wait, there's something over here. Watch your step, Nancy. Wow, this, this is way out in the bush here. Oh, a miniature golf course! Swell! <laughs> Hello! How much does it cost to play and start 10 cents? Oh boy. It's so neat. But I don't want to play yet. Because I. Man. It's... Can't hit the links without a scorecard. Make par for your course, win a prize. Alright, cool, cool. We'll come back to that, I think. At least I know it's here. No strange place for it. I want to go across this bridge here. Who lives here? Hello? Nobody lives here, apparently. Over here, Miss Drew. Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri, would you please? Otherwise, he'll just keep meowing. He hates strangers. <laughs> Where's the cat? Hello, cat. What does this cat want? <laughs> Alright, folks, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back for more. Nancy Drew, we're gonna have to figure out what this cat wants. <laughs> <laughs> 